Hi everyone, in this video we'll look into one of the free marketplace contents for September, the Dynamic Volumetric Sky Asset Pack. This asset normally sells for around 30 euros and while I was checking it out in the engine I came to a conclusion that it's a good price, even too low for what it delivers. So getting it for free is a really good catch. I'm going to mess around with it by creating a new project using the third person template. Then back in the Epic Launcher the asset can be added to the project by pressing the add to project button. A new folder called Dynamic Volumetric Sky will appear in the content browser containing blueprints, materials and an example map. When you load the example map, the editor will take a while to complete all the shader compilation. We are then presented with a level that has a floor plane and two blueprints. One contains a cube with a wind component. Here you can see its effect by making the cube slide away when I press play. The other blueprint contains the player and all the object and code related to the volumetric sky. As you can see in the cloud variables blueprint, it's quite complex and there are a lot of variables that can be edited after the blueprint is instantiated in the world. Position variables are intended to simulate the position and inclination of Sun and also the Moon relative to the selected latitude and longitude along with the time zone. The time is set to dynamic by default, this means that when you press play the time will move forward so the sun actually moves based on the time of the day in the game. This could be really useful if you want to make a day and night cycle in your game or application. The time speed variable is a multiplier to slow down or speed up the time. Here I've set the time speed to 10 making the time flow really fast just to show you how it works. The weather variables section lets you choose which weather is currently active. Here there's a checkbox to make it dynamic like the time so when time passes, weather condition will change. In the cloud variable section, the quality dropdown is used to select the overall quality of the clouds. This is a good thing since volumetric effects are quite expensive in terms of performance so you can choose which quality you want to use according to your project requirements. Here I set them to quality and ultra quality and move the camera through the clouds. And as you can see they look quite good. The cloud variables list include also a series of parameters that let you tweak the appearance of the cloud, like the density, shadow and tiling. Now going back to my third person map, I'll show you how you can integrate the dynamic volumetric sky and clouds in your project. 
All we have to do is go in the blueprints folder and drag the blueprint BP underscore dynamic volumetric sky in the level. Don't forget to delete the volumetric cloud skylight and sky sphere if you already have those in place. As you can see, you can actually fly through the physical clouds, going above and below. With these settings, the clouds are pretty thick, so when I spawn the character above them, it took a while to go through the cloud layer. Here I've disabled the dynamic weather and time to manually change the hours, minutes and seconds sliders. Here I've set a night time and the skylight is of course still active so you can tweak it to achieve the desired effect. If you want to change the appearance of the moon, sun and the stars, you can go on to the 2D sky section variables and change them accordingly. So, in conclusion, if you didn't already, I recommend you to go and grab this free asset on the Epic Marketplace before September ends, because it could be quite useful for a lot of projects. That's all guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful somehow. If you did, please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Cheers!